divine creation that Jesus is the father yes. of all creation and the Lord who made the world. We thank God for him. We thank God for his testimony. We thank God for bringing us out of darkness into the marvelous light. That we might reflect the glory of God to a lost and to a dying world. Uh, I would like for you to turn to 2 Timothy chapter 4. We also honor all the preachers of the gospel in your respective places, honor to whom honor is due, uh, saints of the Most High God. Chapter 4 from verse 5. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of the evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. Watch thou in all things, not in some things, in all things, endure affliction, setbacks and trials, and embarrassing moments when you try to witness to someone who's not saved and they take your track and roll it up and throw it down the street or even may throw it in your face. Mm -hmm. You have to do the work that you are called to do. And this requires, again, a committed life. Y'all hear me? I ain't going to be here long tonight. You hear me? You've got to have a commitment to God. Now we're dealing tonight with So when you put humility, obedience, and sacrifice together, yes. you're on your way to heaven. Amen. But until you can do that, you're not going nowhere with God. Yeah. We are in a day and time, as I've told you in times past, that is so evil and wicked, right. and it's going to be worse. Amen. We see the destruction that is coming toward America even right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was an earthquake the other day in Canada, and Canada don't have no earthquakes. A week prior to that, there was another earthquake in the South Pacific, and the condition in the Gulf of Mexico is still in evidence, all erupting from the ocean floor, and they're still trying to get a handle on it. And now they say a hurricane is heading in that direction. It's on the news tonight. Now, if that hurricane does magnify, it's a tropical storm now, but if it magnifies into a hurricane, or even a strong tropical storm going toward that area, it's going to carry all that, that, that effective water into a further part of uh, uh, Florida and of Louisiana and Mississippi and Alabama, part of Alabama. So, so... We have to understand that God is trying to get somebody's attention. Now today, over the news, they are getting ready to confirm this new justice to the Supreme Court. Her name is, I believe, Kogan or something. Kagan. 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 Now, she, uh, Obama has appointed two to the Supreme Court. Now I want you all to watch this. He's been president about a year and a half. He's appointed two justices to the high court, Supreme Court. The two that he has appointed, would you believe are lesbians? Now, he's only appointed two to the Supreme Court. Now, the Supreme Court is the highest 
uh, law institution in America. His last two appointments and his only two appointments have been lesbians. And I've tried to explain to you the program. And y'all get tired of me uh, teaching on this. But I want you to understand what's taking place here. Right before your eyes. America can't see it. But you ought to be able to see it. He is getting the world ready for this lesbian sodomite takeover. And when they take over, I'm telling you, they're going to outlaw marriage. Husband and wife will be of non-existent uh, uh, family and having children and, and, and going out together, to dinner together, going to church together. And what they're going to do, they're already marking the Word of God. Yes. The way this thing is going, they're going to take this Bible and totally rewrite it. Yes. Right. And it's going to be written in a context, they're trying to do it now, yes. where there's neither male nor female. Mm -hmm. There's neither husband nor wife. Everything is, is coming together as these uh, wicked-minded people vision in their wicked imagination. And if we don't stand up and warn the people, and I'm saying uh, to you two pastors who may be watching, you need to join in with me that we can raise a standard and at least say as such it should be saved because this thing is headed toward destruction. Amen. Now they're getting ready to cut off unemployment checks. Mm -hmm. I think they have something like six months or something mm -hmm. left yeah. and they want to cut out unemployment. So then what are the people supposed to do? Mm -hmm. If you take something that don't belong to you, they're going to put you in jail. So what are the people going to do? You, do you know unemployment don't affect those at the top? Yeah. It don't affect millionaires. Did y'all know that? Yeah. It only affects the working class people. And the working class people are nothing but mules pulling the plow right, in the field Amen. for the man sitting in the big house drinking iced tea. Yeah. Amen. We have to understand that Shiloh gives us a place of protection yes. against this system yes. that is getting ready to come against the working class people to totally make them a non-existent. Amen. Praise God. This is why you get three, four hundred dollar speeding tickets. Oh, now, I, I, listen, I'm not against finding somebody who speeds. Amen. Amen. But what's wrong with the twenty-five dollar ticket they used to get? Why have they got to make a ticket three, four, five hundred dollars? Because they know you have to pay it. Or you can't go to work. Amen. So they put two and two together and get four at your expense. Why? They got to pay it. Well, how are they going to get it? They'll borrow it. Go to the finance company and borrow it. Amen. Or beg somebody for it. This is exploitation yes, at its amen. highest esteem. Yes. And this is why I tell you, church, we have got to come together in the unity of one spirit. Amen. We have got to be spirit-led that we can escape all these devices that Satan is bringing against this untoward generation. We've got to understand we've got to hide ourselves in the spirituality of godliness. We can't let nothing of the natural context affect us. Get me a uh, First Corinthians chapter 2 and pick right up in verse 10. But God had revealed them unto us by His Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. I, I told you, you have to be